Welcome to PointWise's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we demonstrate how to use the Glyph Server functionality to execute a script written in virtually any language. To illustrate the usage of this powerful functionality, we will use a sample script written in Python. Let's go ahead and switch to PointWise. There are therefore three things that you need in order to run a script using the Glyph server functionality. You need the latest version of PointWise, which is already installed in this machine that I am using. You need the latest script interpreter. In our case, we will use a Python script as an example. The latest version of Python is already installed in this machine. Last but not least, you need the appropriate communication script. An example of the communication script written in Python language is available in our GitHub page and also in the Python package repository. We recommend installing it via the repository. Use the syntax presented to install the package in your machine. Let's go ahead and switch back to PointWise. All the commands needed to control the different scripting languages that can be executed are located inside the scripting languages frame in the Edit Preferences panel. The first element in this panel is a table with three columns containing a unique descriptive name for each scripting language, as well as the appropriate file extension and the command line used to execute scripts of each type. There are also three buttons to add elements to a table, to delete elements from a table, and last but not least, to scan your system for all the available scripting languages. The Rescan button will automatically look for Python, Perl, Ruby, and Lua. In order to enable the Glyph server and allow users to run script from outside the PointWise application, use the tools in the Script Glyph Server panel. By default, the Glyph server is set to a passive listen mode, which means that the server will listen to connections on the port specified in the Network Port field only when a script is run from within PointWise. The active mode ensures that the server will listen on the specified port at all times. Last but not least, the authentication field allows you to specify a password that must be passed by the script when this is run from outside the PointWise application. Let's go ahead and switch to an active mode and run a sample Python script from outside PointWise. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.